If you're someone who wants to improve their thinking, make better decisions in life, be more successful, mental models is something that can really help you. A mental model is an explanation of how something works in the real world. If you can identify different things happening around you, you can understand them better and make better decisions. Whether it is a conflict, whether it's something related to finances, whether it's something related to politics or power, whether it's a scientific phenomena, if you can really understand and identify what just happened, you'll be able to make much smarter decisions in your life. And it helps you make sense of what is happening around you. Just imagine entering a room where there's lots of stuff all over the place. And in that crowded room, you have to find a one particular small object. How would you find it in such a mess? If you operate without mental models, your thinking can be like that room because you have a lot of information, lots of random pieces of information coming in, being stored in that brain of yours, but you don't have any place to put that information. Everything is misorganized. It's hard to retrieve information back because it's so misorganized. With mental models, you can have a basic foundation upon which to build this building block of your knowledge. Without having mental models, it becomes very difficult and whether you realize it or not, we all have a basic understanding of some mental models. What we want to do in this channel is discuss all of those different mental models in a lot of detail. Charlie Munger in his commencement speech once said that every individual should know at least 80 to 90 basic mental models. If you know those mental models, which vary across disciplines from physics to chemistry to economics to politics, you can become much more smarter. Whether you want to become an investor, whether you want to become a scientist, an entrepreneur, or simply an employee who's doing a regular nine to five job, these models will really help you out. So to kick this off, in this episode, we'll discuss the Pareto Principle. It is also known as the 80-20 rule or the law of the vital few. This concept is based on the Italian economist Wilfredo Pareto's observation who said that 80% of the land in Italy was owned by 20% of the population. This can also be applied to other areas. For example, 20% of the world's population is generating 80% of the world's income. There are different variations of this rule. Some people say it is the 90-10 rule. Some people call it the 95-5 rule. It varies. The basic idea behind this mental model is that in a lot of things, there are a vital few causes that have the maximum effect, whether that's the distribution of wealth, whether that's the distribution of power, or whether that's a problem that you're trying to solve. Often, very few causes will have a very big impact. For example, if you are an engineer working in a factory, you might observe that there are a few lines that are causing most of the problems in your plant. So if you have 50 different machines, maybe eight of them are causing most of the breakdowns. Similarly, if you look at your household expenses, there'll be a couple of things only that will be the major contributors to your monthly cost. Mortgage is one example, which could be up to 30 to 40% of your overall household expenses. If you add car insurance and groceries, these top three things might be contributing to 70 to 80% of your total expenses. Similarly, there could be few people, a couple of people, of all the people you know in your surrounding, your family and friends, there could be a few people who bring you the maximum joy. Or on the flip side, there could be one or two people who bring you the maximum suffering. So the Pareto Principle helps you be aware of this thing. It helps you identify this 80-20 relationship or this 90-10 relationship in business, in relationships, at work, while handling your finances. So you can not only identify those major contributors, those vital few that have the maximum impact, but also do something about them by focusing on them or not focusing on them. For example, if we talk about relationships and there's someone who's causing you maximum stress, you can identify that person and see what can be done. How can you solve this particular problem to live stress-free? Now, solving problems is a whole nother chapter that we'll discuss in another video. But for this video, I wanted to keep my focus on the Pareto Principle, the 80-20 rule. Let me know what you think about mental models, about 80-20, if there is any particular mental model about which you want to learn more in the future. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.